Okay, boys and girls, I'm simply recording this because it was a pain in my arse to do it myself to figure everything out. So in case this can help anybody out, I am going to show you what I did. I took this is the Hydro Boost from a 1989 Chevy P30 Pace Aero Motorhome. That lovely joy right there. I have changed every single part on the front end of that vehicle from the upper and lower tie rods down to the coil spring heavy duty. P.S. If you want to get rid of all the swing in your vehicles going down the road from 18 wheelers blowing you left and right, heavy duty coil springs and I also replaced the um, airbags that went inside of them, uh, the lines, everything. As you can see also updated my headlights to HED lights, top lights to clearance lights are all on the top and the back of aftermarket, better clearance, better quality, better lighting. This is the old Hydro Boost, the topic of the subject, this is the old Hydro Boost, it was leaking every freaking where. When you buy a new Hydro Boost, that one, you have to take, let's see, you have to take the centerpiece here out. You have a rod, a spring, and a um, mesh keeper that holds it inside of this lip right here. It holds it a little. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Inside that, that lip is a little keeper. Right there, a little groove right there. Smooth. And it drops down in here, it's like a little groove right there. The keeper locks onto the back of here. Okay? And it looks like that on the inside. When you get it, like mine's, that piece right there might be pushed all the way up to the top. So you might think, oh, this will never go in there. But it does, it has to be extended out. It has to be extended out like that. Because it might, yours might come, hold on. Yours might come with this inside and it might only be stick out that far but to get this thing uh, to get this thing here see that's the keeper I was talking about that's the keeper Hold on. you take this keeper out of the old hydro boost and the spring is see that little spring right there those little little rings that's a spring Bob got a little plastic keeper to keep in the center at the bottom. And the only purpose of this little keeper here is to keep it directly into the center for your master cylinder. That's brand spanking new. I'm changing that. That's brand new too. And this is changing one without changing the other. And since I was changing this and this, I figured why not change this? My gearbox. It was, had a slight leak in it. So it's a brand new gearbox, Hydro Boost, brake system. Everything on the front of that vehicle is brand new, down to the batteries. Also, if you're going to try to put this spring here in, the new Hydro Boost comes with these caps. This one doesn't matter, and that one doesn't matter. But this will not go in, so you can put this rod, spring, and keeper in until you remove this top. When you remove this here top, it will let the air pressure go, so you can push it in and then install it and it's all into it and the very most important thing i haven't seen anybody cover this part this is a big it's a problem what you want to do oh, let me zoom out what you want to do is you say well big fella how'd you get this here off of this so you can swap it out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This bolt, which is right here, that bolt comes off of here. Screws on, screws in, tighten into this. Really? Okay goes on to this. 
So what you have to do, or at least what I did, I'm not saying you should or shouldn't do it, I'm just gonna tell you what I did. I got my keeper, I took my little pin off. Yeah, took my, I took my pin off right there. And this is what I did. I took this bad boy right here, and I went that direction and knocked it off loose so I can start twisting it by my hand. Pull it out, put it back in, and I took the same bad boy, you see the disc mark right there. Right there. I took that same bad boy, it was on there for 30 years, so you, who cares about a few dents? It's never coming back off. And I tighten it back up the other direction. Blah, blah, blah. And if you don't know, now you know. P.S. Like I said, I got a Chevy P30. I've changed just about everything on that thing, with the exception of the parking brake. <laughs> so if there's anything you need help with, DM me, and maybe I can help you. If I can, I will. Peace.